We listened to appeals from the two Muslim leaders for a continuing solidarity with them because they were very anxious about the possible kind of hostile reaction that they might uh, be subjected to. They've gone to a lot of bother to make a very, very clear denunciation of the actions of ISIS from disassociating themselves from all mainline Islamic belief. They've paid to have that big advert in all of the papers when really their statement should be reported like everybody else's. Uh, and we just wanted to add a voice of uh, support for those communities at this very vulnerable time. I said at the meeting, uh, this is something that the Catholic community understands in the light of the experience of the effect of IRA bombings on relationships in society when those things were happening. How the actions of extremists who use religion, those reactions flood over the main community. And as Pope Francis said, and these men this morning said, uh, to perpetrate violence in the name of God is blasphemy. Everybody feels frightened. Muslims are frightened. Please don't forget that ISIS have killed far more Muslims than they've killed people from other religions. And therefore, this is not, it's the, the, the configuration of this is uh, a, an extremist movement against the rest. Well, I think our, our emphasis this morning was on the cohesiveness of our own society. As it was stated plainly, as I said myself last week, one of the objectives of terrorist violence is to sow fear, hatred and division. And if we as a society to succumb to any of those three things, then we're hand handing terrorists an effectiveness that they should never be given.